welcome to this video. Today we are going to do February haul. The things that I bought during February. Now I bought a lot of stuff. I, I bought a couple of skincare products and makeup of course. If you want to see what I have, keep on watching. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. A couple of these products you have already seen in other uh, makeup tutorials. But I just want to show you that what's wrong with my... I have hair everywhere. Wait. My hair is stuck on my, on my lashes. Some of these products you have already seen in other videos, makeup tutorials and first impressions. That's all the products that I bought this month. I won't go into details about these products, I'm just going to show you them. Uh, uh, Makeup Addiction Cosmetic Flaming Love Palette Eyeshadow Palette that I have This is how it looks It's what I have on my eyes today Beautiful, beautiful palette I do like it These colors, they are not mad, the shimmer colors Easiest way to apply them is with the finger It may be also good if you spray some Fix Plus or Setting Spray Because during the day they can lose some intense And there are a little bit of fallouts but it's a good palette, I really really am happy that I got it and uh, I like it, I like this one. The other two eyeshadow palettes that I got that I showed you before is this Sleek's Eye Divine. This is on the horizon and this one is Sunset palette. These two are amazing, I've been playing with them a little bit, a couple of days and I really really like these palettes. Let's show you this one, this is Sunset. Very beautiful. I have a video first impression with these palettes. I won't go into details, but I just want to show you it. Now the only thing that I really don't like, not only with this palette, but the other palettes that I have, a couple of them, the, the names are here. It bothers me a little bit. So this is uh, this one uh, on the horizon. And I have a makeup tutorial with this palette on my channel, so um, you can check it out. A couple of other things that I also showed you in another video, it's this candy uh, tint balm from uh, Sleek. These balms are amazing, very, very nice, soft, feels soft on my lips, my lips are moisturized and I have them with me all day. I have one in my purse one here in my room and one in my jacket so it's three different colors but I found them go with everything Cu these couple of weeks my skin has been terrible I have a lot of breakouts I really I think I won't say I don't know why I think I do know why because I ate too much candy too much sweet and when I do that then my face like explodes with acne so I think that's my problem so I will cut down <laughs> the sugar and I will bought a couple of things for my face of course I need new moisturizer and everything so I wanted to try these bare minerals this brand is very good for someone who has sensitive skin and that's me I have sensitive and stressed skins uh, anti-imperfection treatment gel cleanser this is formulated with skin profiling, mineral rich, sea salt plus peppermint and ginger extract. This is a very good for breakouts. This is how the packaging looks and it's a gel. Doesn't have a sense to it. It's cool, it feels cold when you put it on. It gives my skin very soft, very nice, very clean and moisturized. I like it. I like it a lot. Can you see? And I use it every night, every morning. And first what I do is I remove my makeup and then I clean my face with this one. And after that I also I go in with oh, no, this is I go in with this one. It's age defined air renew serum. How it looks. It's with vitamin C and chai hu extract. Uh, and you put three to four drops to face and neck using morning and evening. Let me read what, it's, what this is good for. 
This target the early signs of aging includes childhood extract and powerful uh, peptide to help target the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles before they become evident to support skin natural look of youth. Reveals a fresh nut and healthy looking complexion with vitamin C to help bright, brighten, retexturize and even the look of skin tone and olive leaf extra to help and enhance vibrancy I think. And this also helps supporting skin's natural ability to compact signs of environmental stress and skin dryness. So this is a very good serum. I like the packaging, so nice, so cute. And it, it's white and also feels so nice and soft. This improved my skin, make, made my skin looking much, much better than it did last week. I've only used this for a week but I already saw some results. I just want to use it more. I just I, I want to use it a couple of months before I give my full review of this product. But so far I really like it. And after the serum I go in with this uh, Bare Minerals Oily Free Replenishing Gel Cream. And this is how it looks. I think this is a nice packaging. I love this gold rose color up here. And this isn't as the other creams, it's kind of, it looks like a gel, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's not a cream, typical cream, it's a gel. And this one feels so nice, so soft, has nice sense to it, not strong at all. And it feels so nice and soft and moisturized. It really made my skin around my nose looking less dry and really made my skin being soft and moisturized. I will also wait with my full review of this product. I also, if you can see these lashes that I have, I bought a couple of lashes. This is, oh my god, this is, I don't know how to pronounce, the Diner False Lashes. They are handmade. Bought these on Wish website. I really like these. Look how beautiful they are. Can you see they are thick and that line is also black. They look natural. And if I look down, I can notice them. They are like full... How to say? They are not heavy. And really not so easy to apply, but I really like them. I think they look amazing on my eyes. And they are not too heavy. They look heavy, but they are not so heavy. And I like how these long eyelashes are like curled or something. I, I really, really like these eyelashes. I also bought a new beauty blender because my old, the other one is kind of old and need to be thrown away. So I went to Sephora and bought a new beauty blender. I like this one. And with new lashes, I need new glue. Well, I have this Duo Eyelash Clear White. That's very popular. But let me say, it doesn't really work for me. I don't know why, but every time I wear fall lashes, this part, I lose one. I tried it, I give it a chance, and it is a good... I know my sister loves this one, and I know a couple of my friends. But I, I don't know why it didn't work for me. I don't know if I did something wrong or didn't apply it right. I don't find it easy to work with. So I went and bought this from Island London Clear Finish Latex Free Strip Lash Glue, all they wear. And this one I do like. This one is so nice. This is how it looks. And I love the applicator. It's almost like a lip... Uh, liquid lipstick applicator and it's easy to apply on eyelashes and it's easy to work with I don't know I just found this one is much better than the other one so this one is a new favorite then I also bought L'Oreal nude cushion uh, foundation I have already a video with uh, trying this product and you can find it on my channel, I will put all in the information down below 
and I do like this foundation. It's the foundation that I have on me today. Now I know a couple of you guys told me that they, you use this for oily skin because I know I said in my video that oh, this is probably, I think this is works better for the dry skin. I gave it a chance and it still gets, how to say, very shiny on my face after a couple of hours. So I don't know. I do like it and I will continue using it, but I always have to think putting some extra powder on my face. Setting powder, of course. And the last product that I bought this month is eyeshadow, baked eyeshadow from e.l.f. in Pixi, color Pixi. I was curious to see how this one looks on my eyes. I saw a couple of videos of this eyeshadow and it looks beautiful. I was looking for this shimmery metallic color, how to say. And this one looks beautiful, I like it. I haven't tried it, I will try it this later, I haven't tried it yet, but I do like it. So that was everything that I bought this month. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye!